pray for our great Lord and Father and His Holy and His Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord the very most reverend Metropolitan Hilarion, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for the right reverend Bishop Peter, and for our right reverend Bishop George, and for all the brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Great Father and Healer, Father Laban, pray to God for us. Holy Great Martyr and Healer, Father Laban, now imitator of God's mercy, look down in thy loving kindness and hearken unto us sinners who offer heartfelt prayers before thy holy icon. Ask for us from the Lord God, before whom the angels stand in heaven, remission of our sins and transgressions. Heal the ills of body and soul of the servants of God, all those here commemorated, and all those here who pray and who seek thy help. Небесе Божие и виж, и посети виноград сей, и утверди им, Его же насади, десница Твоя. Кирия, Кирия, Пивлик 
Ξέξαξ ρονοκείδεν και επίσκεψε και να μπλον τα αυτήν και κατάρτισαν αυτήν εν εφύτευσεν η δεξιά σου. Ο Λόρδ, ο Λόρδ, look down from heaven and behold and visit this vineyard and perfect that which thy right hand has planted. Великого Господина и Отца нашего Кирилла, Святейшего Патриарха Московского и Всега Руси, и Господина нашего Высокопреосвященнейшего Илариона, Митрополита Восточно-Американского и Нью-Йоркского, Первая иерарха русские зарубежные церкви, господина нашего преосвященнейшего Георгия, епископа Мефильского, да поменет Господь Бог во царстве своем, всегда ныне и присно, и во веки веков. a parable that Christ said about a Lord who prepared a wedding feast for his son and he sent his emissaries to call those who were invited meaning the chosen people the people of Israel but they declined under different for different reasons 
And when the Lord came to the wedding feast, he saw the chambers empty. So he sent his servants to the roadsides to, to call all those who happened to come, they happened to come upon. And they invited all those people, <coughs> and the hall was filled. And when the Lord entered the chambers, he saw a man sitting there, night, not in bridal gown. And the Lord said, what are you doing here, not dressed properly? And ordered that that guest be driven out into the darkness. It might seem to us strange, but what if that person did not have the needed festive garments? What if he was poor? Is that fair? But there is one peculiarity that we are not aware of. In ancient times, when people were invited to a wedding, they were also given a gift of an outward garment. And even today, the bride and groom give gifts to their bridesmaids and to broomsmen, and sometimes gifts to all the guests. Well, in ancient times, all guests received a very festive outward garment. That person who was not wearing his outward garment that he received as a must have received it as a gift. Not wearing it meant that he thought nothing of it. He disregard, disregarded it. And the meaning of this parable is that the people who were called, when the chosen people did not receive the Messiah, Christ sent his apostles to the Gentiles. That is us. We were called to his kingdom, and we came. But we also received an outward garment. That is the grace we received in holy baptism. The grace of the Holy Spirit. And those who disregard this grace and we receive it for no credit of our own. It is the image we receive. And having this image, we should strive to achieve the likeness of God. And those of us who do not make an effort to spiritually grow, we are those who disregard the festive outer garment of this wedding feast. In other words, just by receiving baptism, we are not saved if we make no effort to achieve salvation. Yes, it's a very important first step but then the grace that we receive, we have to develop it. Just as the Israelis, the chosen people, thought that they are saved just because they are children of Abraham. Likewise, just because we are baptized, it is not a guarantee that we will be saved. But if we use the grace that we receive in baptism to grow spiritually, then the Lord will grant us salvation. Amen.